Okay, it's time now to get a check of the weather. Still chilly there in Melbourne today, Emma? Absolutely, Lisa, but we are warming up by learning about the great work of the Heart Foundation this morning and also learning about the risk factors of heart attack. And some of those include having high blood pressure, cholesterol, your eight, weight, gender, and also if you're a smoker or not. And they do advise that if you're over the age of 45 that you get a healthy heart check every year. And I'm going to get my blood pressure taken by Dr Grenfell, who is from the Heart Foundation, straight after we take a look at your weather and see what's happening at your place today. If you're in Cairns, it's looking like a sun day top of 33 degrees 34 and fine in Townsville if you are in Brizzy today a clear but cooler day than yesterday top of 33 degrees fine on the Goldie Sydney a mostly sunny Wednesday it's going to be delightful by the harbour top of 25 degrees 19 and partly cloudy in Canberra Melbourne a couple of showers with winds expected to ease 18 degrees 15 and showers clearing in Hobart Adelaide partly cloudy a top of 23 28 and showers and the chance of a storm in Perth a sunny day in the Alice and 35 and partly cloudy if you are up in Darwin. Well, how are we going there, Dr Grenfell? Well, we, got actually, we got actually an error on this today. That's because I think you're probably too stressed with regards to reading the weather, Emma. I'm sorry That's unfortunate. To say. We'll try it again. Well, we did get a very nice blood pressure before for you. It was uh, well and truly within range. But, of course, if it isn't in range, that means that you need to see your doctor and get it regularly checked and also all the other risk factors for heart attack. And, as you mentioned, smoking or whether you've got a high cholesterol. And your doctor should be able to do this for you every year, particularly if you're over 45. If you've got a high family risk... Uh, of having a heart attack, you should be doing that a little bit earlier. So It's really easy to reduce your blood pressure as well, Georgie and Lisa. 1.5 million Australians suffer from high blood pressure, but there's so many things you can do to reduce it. We've actually got errors, which probably means, am I about to die? No, you're not about to die. I think reading the weather on national TV is quite stressful, Emma. <laughs> Yes, no, I'm really stressed. stressed. The doctor advises you not to do that, Emma. OK? <laughs> <laughs> Not good for your career, really, is she it? She looks the picture of health, I yeah, reckon. I'm sure she is. All right, coming up, 